Hey everybody, Andy Sachs here with Keller Williams and the Around Town Real Estate team. And this, I think, is my most exciting and favorite video that we're about to do. I'm joined by Clark Newgold. Clark is you know, more or less a local boy now, I'd have to say, and the owner of the Foundry, he, with he and his wife, Kate. And we are here at the newest project. And, and this is one of the most exciting things to happen in Newtown and such a positive thing in the middle of the pandemic also to focus yeah. on. But I'm, I'm just gonna hand it over to you. Where are we standing right now for folks who don't recognize where we are? Sure, so this is the old um, Inn in Newtown, which we're now calling Marigold's on Main. Uh, this is gonna be the main dining room area. We've done a lot of work um, all throughout the building, but in here and the whole building, we have new floors, we have all new lighting, um, all new systems in place. It's, uh, it's a whole new thing, you know? Marigold's on Main, the name itself is a mix up of Mary Holly, obviously, who was you know the original proprietor and yeah. great philanthropist of Newtown. Absolutely. And uh, Newgold is our last name, and she also was famously like a, a, an avid gardener. So Mary Gold's the flower. <laughs> <laughs> it makes a, makes yeah, a lot of sense. That, that's our one. That's our <laughs> one little thing. Um, but this is the new spot, man. We put a lot of work into it. We got a, a really amazing vision for the space and the food, and we just we're so excited to bring this thing back to Newtown. It, yeah. it, it's incredible the work you've done. I just got a tour. And if I was a little bit more tech savvy, I would have walked with this thing and, and, and kind of videotaped some of it, but uh, maybe one day. Um, I had been in this property, obviously, when it was functioning, and I had been in this property several times as it had fallen on disrepair. Yeah. And the battles that, the, that ensued with developers in the town. And I think everybody had just hoped in their heart of hearts that somebody would come in and kind of see the vision of this property again. So, so tell us what is going to be the use of the property. How many? There's, there's several different aspects of what's going to happen here. Yeah, so you're right. So I did sit here for a long time, and it's such an important historic, um, you know, building for this town. And it was just waiting for the right person to come in, and that person was uh, Russ Barton. He's uh, someone that uh, we know. He's a big, you know, he's a developer around here. Mm -hmm. He's got a few buildings in the area, um, but he saw the vision for this place and he saw the potential. Um, he had a dream and. He approached us to, to do the restaurant side of it, and you know it would have been it would have been crazy to say no to that. Absolutely. Um, so we worked closely with him to get the work done in here, and on the other side where the inn used to be is going to end up being um, residential units. I think it's seven or eight properties. Apart um, apartments. Apartments. Yep. Um, so that's it. It's going to be a mixed use space. We got some big plans for the gardens out back. Restore those to their former glory. Make yep. them a nice little dining area for people. And, um, and we're we're, sta we're standing in the pub area right now with the same bar that's been here for. It might as well be generations at this point. Yeah. Um, and this this front space, you've got a vision you had mentioned, po possibly almost um, you know a steakhouse type of vision, yeah, Amer so American we're, fair. We're going to do classics up here. We're going to keep it very simple, uh, much like the design throughout the whole space. You know, we want to keep it clean and simple, and we want the food to be the same way. You know, sourced really well, um, familiar, yeah, just done with like our technique that we that we've been working on for years, right? The, Absolutely, the craft we've been honing. Um, and to make it approachable for everybody in Newtown. You know, we still want this to be the family spot that it always was, the place where everyone has such great memories. Um, that's what we're going to do with the event side of the business as well. Awesome. You know, we have giant rooms in the back. Um, we've also had a bridal suite built upstairs. We have plans for, you know, a wedding space outside. And we just want this to be, you know, kind of Connecticut's premier wedding and large venue destination. You're doing an incredible job, I think, matching kind of the old world charm that, that the inn was and had been meant to be with this clean, upscale, yet very approachable style. Yeah. And I think what's even better to, to note is, you know, I said at the beginning, you're a local guy, um, you know, born and raised just up the road, more or less. Um, but you have such a wealth of experience at still such a relatively young age. You literally have a lifetime of experience in the restaurant world already. For better and worse, yeah. right? I mean, you've, you've seen it all from opening restaurants as far away from Hawaii to opening a restaurant down the street, a foundry, to now this is your next project. And, and I think the town um, and myself, honestly, it's a, it's a very great grateful that you've taken on this project. Yeah, that feeling is completely mutual, right? I mean, we couldn't be happier to be here in Newtown doing this, you know? We saw the town come out to support every single restaurant in town, you know? Everybody for now is, is okay. We, we saw the way through and we couldn't do any of that without the town. That's really what gave us, you know, the drive to see this project through in the middle of this crazy situation. Yeah. Like when when it all first happened, I was we were scared. We were running scared down at the foundry, you know. Absolutely. But the town came out for our takeaway business, and they came back as soon as we opened up. We saw all the names that we saw come through for takeout. We saw get on our reservation list, man, and we know. So that that really gave us. Let us know in our hearts that we could do this up here, that the yeah. town would be supportive, you know? New, new town takes care of its own. There's For no sure. doubt about it. Something else really exciting, uh, the original Stanziados, if you're, if 
people are familiar with it down in Danbury, the original owner yeah, Matt. Is, is, and Matt is doing what? So in the basement, we have a whole new, a whole new thing going on. The old Proud Mary's is going to be good old days, uh, pizzeria and cocktail den. We've put a very beautiful, uh, Swedish engineered pizza oven down there. It's pretty cool. Um, it's just has a huge range of versatility and Matt is just, uh, he's a genius, right? He's, yeah. he's so good at what he does. Um, I used to work for him when I was in college, I worked down there at San Ziato's. And uh, I showed him the, I showed him the project. I showed him the space, and he was just he was into it. You know, we see a huge potential down there. Um, this is just, literally just, becoming a destination. Yeah, just to give people yeah. something different. You know, like Absolutely. sure, there's tons of pizza in town, but the stuff that we're going to do down there, you know, is is certainly unique to the area. We got some big plans. Yeah. We got some big ideas, and it was another way to kind of, you know, put a little security in the business, right? Like, who knows what's going to happen in the winter? Who knows where this whole thing goes? God forbid something that something happens again. We, they, you know, they put us on lockdown. We have a takeout business that we know is fully sustainable and a way to keep the town fed. Absolutely. It's awesome. Clark, from the town, thank you. Yeah. This is awesome. This is really exciting. I'm glad I got to have this look. Um, the goal is to, you're, you're open before Christmas. That's the goal. That's the goal, man. All we're right. Gonna, we're going to do this thing. We're, we're rolling as fast as we can. <laughs> we're, we're excited, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Pandemic fist bump. Appreciate you. Yeah.